हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सनी सर फ्रॉम मोहदी इंग्लिश स्कूल दिस वीडियो इज फॉर क्लास टू सब्जेक्ट साइंस बिफोर वी कंटिन्यू विथ अवर वीडियो द इंस्ट्रक्शंस दैट आई गिव यू एवरी डे सो विच आर दोज इंस्ट्रक्शंस नंबर वन सी दैट यू वॉश योर हैंड्स रेग्युलरली वेन एवर यू गो आउट वेन एवर यू कम बैक बिफोर गोइंग आउट आफ्टर कमिंग इन First thing you have to see that you have to wash your hands maintain distance from everyone you meet do not touch anywhere see that you use your sanitizer whenever you go outside and even see that you wash your hands before and after eating eat freshly cooked vegetables do not eat stale food do not eat junk food and last but not the least maintain cleanliness in your surroundings the thought for today no one is perfect that's why pencils have erasers so we are all human beings we are bound to make mistakes without mistakes you cannot live your life so mistakes are proof that you are trying make mistakes but then correct your mistakes that is more important making mistakes is not bad but not correcting the mistakes is wrong so when you write something with pencil you know that you have made mistake you immediately fetch out your eraser and erase that incorrect word or line same way in the life when you make mistake you cannot erase it but at least you can correct it later on in a way that you do not repeat that mistake so learn from your mistake content of today's video lesson number 6 food for health that is the lesson that has been going on from the previous few lectures revision of the previous video first i'll give the recap of the previous video in which we have learned about question answers hard words objectives then we will solve some extra questions today and you will write that extra questions in rough book i repeat these are the extra questions in today's video which i will show that is the worksheet which is taken from your old science textbook which will not be asked in exam but you will have a better practice of the lesson for better understanding of the lesson i have to solve that exercise with you all but that exercise questions are to be written in rough book and not in the fair book whatever is to be written in the fair book has already been sent in your whatsapp group so let's begin quickly with the revision of the previous video so in the previous video we had learned notes of lesson 6 which were to be written in the fair book so we are just having the recap the revision of the previous video hard words which are the hard words that we had learned and you had already written that number 1 s p i n a c h spinach d i v i d e divide number 3 p r o t e c t i v e protective number 4 e n e r g y energy g i v i n g giving energy giving number 5 b o d y body b u i l d i n g body building then number 6 to 10 p a r t i c u l a r particular number 7 u s u a l l y usually number 8 m e a l s meals number 9 s t a l e stale number 10 p l e n t y plenty so these were the 10 hard words that we had revised after that we had learned q two examples number 1 food we get from plants fruits and vegetables food we get from animals milk and egg energy giving food rice and sugar body building food milk and egg protective foods fruits and nuts how will remember this it's very easy 
Fruit and nut is also the name of a chocolate if you might have eaten or seen. Same way you can easily remember fruits and nuts. You just have to add S. So it also becomes the name of a chocolate. Fruit and nut. So fruits and nuts are protective foods. Then we had learnt question answers. Number one was, why do we need food? We need food to live and grow. Why do we need food? We need food to live and grow. Number two, write any one rule for healthy eating. So we had learnt about so many rules for healthy eating. From that we had to write any one. So what have we written? We should wash our hands before and after eating. The same thing I told you in the beginning of the video. We should wash our hands before and after eating. Next. Number three. Which type of food should we eat? We should eat healthy food. Which type of food should we eat? We should eat healthy food. Number four. How many meals do we take in a day? We take three meals in a day. How many meals do we take in a day? We take three meals in a day. Last number five. Name the three meals we usually eat during the day. So in the previous question it was asked how many. Now in this question five it is asked name the meals which we eat during the day. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. The three meals that we usually eat during the day are breakfast, lunch and dinner. I had told you to learn the spellings as well. So this was all we had learnt in the previous video. Now let's continue with today's video that is the new worksheet solving of the same lesson. And as I told you this exercise which we are solving today from here answers you have to write in the rough book. But this is just for practice as this exercise has been taken from your old science textbook which is not used by you. You are using the new version of your science textbook which we have already covered and I have sent the exercise in your WhatsApp groups. So today we are solving the exercise from your old science textbook but that is not to be written in the fair book. Let's see number one. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. Fill in the blanks. Number one. We can divide the food we eat into dash groups. Into how many groups can we divide our food? So we can divide our food into three groups, not six. We can divide our food into three groups. And which are that? Energy giving, body building and protective. So let's write the answer. So the answer is three. You have to write the whole sentence. We can divide the food we eat into three groups. I already said the names. Number two. Fruits and vegetables are known as dash foods. Fruits and vegetables come in the category of protective food, not bodybuilding. Because bodybuilding food we already know milk is bodybuilding also egg and chicken but here it is asked about fruits and vegetables so they come in the category of protective food so answer is p r o t e c t i v e protective fruits and vegetables are known as protective foods number 3 we must drink plenty of dash to remain healthy what should you drink plenty of water not the soft drinks you should drink plenty of water every day so that you will be healthy even it will give a glow to your skin so drink plenty of water that is my request to all of you and as i write the answers i want you to write the answers as well number four we should eat dash food which type of food should we eat should we eat fresh or stale food? Stale food will make you ill. Fresh food will keep you healthy. So we should eat fresh food. 
so the answer is fresh we should eat fresh food so these are the four objective type questions in that number 1 fill in the blanks let's see all the four again we can divide food we eat into three groups fruits and vegetables are known as protective foods we must drink plenty of water to remain healthy we should eat fresh food this for the four fill in the blanks i hope you have written all the four questions along with the answers number 2 as you can see in objective type questions match the following options are given column a column b let's read all the questions on the left hand side and then the answers on the right hand side then we'll match that column a rice and wheat eggs fruits breakfast dinner column b bodybuilding morning night energy giving protective so now we shall match column a with column b we have to find out the right match for the question from these answers given in column b so it's a fun game and you can also write the answers before i write it before it is shown on the screen i want you to write the answers quickly in your notebooks and then you can verify your answers with me so the first one that is given rice and wheat rice and wheat they come under the category of energy giving food we know that rice wheat sugar they give us energy to work and play and they are called energy giving food so let's match that so option question number 1 rice and wheat you will match with option number 4 that is the fourth option energy giving food they give us energy to work and play number 2 eggs under which category do eggs come eggs come under the category of body building food these foods like milk egg and chicken they help us grow and they make our bones and muscles strong so here is the answer eggs are body building foods eggs come under the category of body building they will build your body they will help you grow number 3 fruits under which category do fruits come fruits protect us from falling ill just like vegetables and nuts so it comes in the category of protective that is option number 5 protective they protect us from falling ill so fruits are protective rice and wheat are energy giving eggs are body building now remaining two very easy for you to write the answers breakfast when do you have your breakfast do you have it in the morning or at night breakfast is to be had in the morning dinner we have at night breakfast in the morning so here is the answer and dinner when do we have dinner at night or you can also call it supper so these are the five match the following which we have already written the answers verify your answers and i hope each one of you has written the correct answers before i showed the answers you might have got your answers ready with you so we did two things fill in the blanks with the correct words then we solved match the following rice and wheat energy giving eggs are body building fruits are protective breakfast we have in the morning dinner we have at night then let's see the next question we have is very short answer questions very short answer questions now you will have to write over here write two examples for each of the following so the third question the new question we are solving for the worksheet today that is write two examples we have to write two examples for the each question that is asked in the exercise let's read let's start number 1 see that you write the question 
as well as the answers in your notebook number 1 energy giving food energy giving food so we have learned about energy giving foods like rice wheat and sugar they give us energy to work and play and these food items are called energy giving food let's write the two names over here which i just said so you will also write the same answer which i have written rice and wheat energy giving foods are rice and wheat number 2 body building food which are the body building foods we have learnt about food items such as milk eggs and chicken they help us grow they make our bones and muscles strong so they are called body building foods let's write the two examples so here the two examples are milk and chicken milk and chicken are the body building foods which help our bones and muscles grow number 3 protective food what are protective foods fruits vegetables nuts they protect us from falling ill and these food items are called protective foods let's write two examples over here so these are the two examples f r u i t s fruits v e g e t a b l e s vegetables fruits and vegetables are the two protective food that protect us from falling ill number 4 types of meals we have three meals in a day breakfast lunch and dinner from that three let's write the names of any two meals as they have asked only two examples so here are the two examples l u n c h lunch d i w n e r dinner types of meals lunch and dinner so now the third question we solved for today that is write two examples let's read again energy giving foods rice and wheat body building food milk and chicken protective food fruits and vegetables types of meals lunch and dinner so that were the two example questions and i hope you have written questions as well as the answers in your of book i repeat this exercise for today is just for the practice number 2 in very short answer question number 2 is write one word for the following that is give one word you have to read the sentence and write one word in the blanks which are given over here five blanks are given five questions are there let's read one by one comprehend and then write the answer food items such as rice and wheat give us this so what do we get from rice and wheat they are called energy giving food so the word energy is what we get from them rice and wheat they give us energy to work and play so what do they give us energy so the answer is e n e r g y energy food items such as rice and wheat give us energy to work and play number 2 a particular kind of food that we eat at the particular time of the day so this is the definition of meal there are three meals that we have in a day but at the particular time means in the morning or at noon or at night that is a particular type of food that we eat at that particular time of the day is called meal so the answer is m e a l meal a particular kind of food that we eat at a particular time of day that is meal number 3 the meal that we have in afternoon which meal do we have in the afternoon from that three you have to select any one that is breakfast lunch or dinner which meal do we have in the afternoon time so it is very easy you all know that in the afternoon time around 1 o'clock we have our lunch what do we have in the afternoon time we have our lunch 
मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स यू आर इन द स्कूल इन आफ्टरनून वैन द रेगुलर स्कूल इज गोइंग ऑन एट दैट टाइम यू ब्रिंग योर लंच एंड हैव इट इन द रिसेस टाइम नंबर फोर द मील दैट वी हैव एट नाइट एट नाइट बिफोर यू स्लीप वन और टू आवर्स बिफोर यू स्लीप एट अराउंड एट ओ क्लॉक और नाइन ओ क्लॉक यू हैव दैट मील एट नाइट यू हैव दैट फूड वॉट इज दैट फूड कॉल्ड वॉट यू हैव एट नाइट सो एट नाइट वी हैव अवर डिनर इट इज डिनर टाइम एट नाइट लेट्स राइट द स्पेलिंग तो द स्पेलिंग इज डी आई डबल एन ई आर डिनर डी आई डबल एन ई आर डिनर एट नाइट वी हैव अवर डिनर नंबर फाइव अनकवर्ड फूड माइट हैव दिस वेन यू डू नॉट कवर द फूड इट बिकम्स स्टेल फूड एंड वॉट इज देर इन द स्टेल फूड जर्म्स एंटर द स्टेल फूड वेन यू डू नॉट कवर योर फूड जर्म्स विल एंटर दैट फूड एंड इट विल मेक द फूड स्टेल सो अगेन विच थिंग इज देर इन द अनकवर्ड फूड सो वेन यू कीप द फूड अनकवर्ड इट माइट हैव दीज इट माइट हैव जर्म्स इन इट सो यू शुड नॉट ईट दैट अनकवर्ड फूड बिकॉज देर आर जर्म्स एंड यू माइट फॉल इल सो दीज आर द फाइव आंसर्स दैट वी हैव रिटर्न गिव वन वर्ड लेट्स रीड वंस अगेन फूड आइटम्स सच एज राइस एंड वीट गिव अस एनर्जी अ पर्टिक्युलर काइंड ऑफ फूड दैट वी ईट एट अ पर्टिक्युलर टाइम ऑफ डे दैट इज मील द मील दैट वी हैव इन द आफ्टरनून इज कॉल्ड लंच द मील दैट वी हैव एट नाइट इज कॉल्ड डिनर अनकवर्ड फूड विल हैव जर्म्स इन इट so we should not eat that uncovered food now after solving this very short answer questions let's write the answers for short answer questions means the question answers i repeat this question answers are not to be written in the fair book these question answers are just to be written in the rough book short answer questions number 1 why do we need food why do we need food so let's write the answer so here is the answer you all have to speak along with me why do we need food we need food to live and grow it gives us energy to work and play please write the answer in the rough book not in the fair book why do we need food we need food to live and grow it gives us energy to work and play next question number 2 why do we need protective foods so what is the need of protective foods like fruits vegetables and nuts why do we need to eat those foods so here is the answer protective foods protect us from falling ill that's why we need protective foods why do we need protective foods because protective foods protect us from falling ill number 3 why do we need proper gaps between meals like we keep the gap between lunch and dinner between breakfast and lunch so why do we keep gap why do we keep a gap of few hours in between directly after breakfast we cannot have our lunch there is a gap of a few hours so why is that gap needed so here is the answer we need proper gaps in between the meals so that the food we eat gets digested properly the digestion should be done in between the time that you leave in between for example in between breakfast and lunch in between lunch and dinner there is a gap of a few hours so in that duration the food will get digested in your stomach so we need to keep gap in between if you keep on eating and eating constantly then your digestive system might not work properly and your stomach might pain you might have noticed sometimes the pain in your stomach because you might have eaten 
something or you might have over eaten something and the gap which should be kept in between two meals was not maintained so you should keep the proper gap in between the meals so that the food is digested properly so here is an exercise the last exercise for today let's recall even this exercise you just have to write in the rough book recall and complete the concept map given below so there is a concept map means whatever we have understood in this lesson about food groups about meals in a day about key to healthy eating all these three points that are the concept of the lesson have been included over here so let's comprehend and write the answers food groups so first of all we have learnt about three food groups over here it starts with e then dash it starts with b then dash it starts with p then dash so we already know the names of the three food groups which are they before i write you should write the answer so here are the names of the three food groups that we have learnt energy giving foods body building foods and protective foods energy giving body building and protective foods now we shall write the examples for energy giving food body building food and protective food over here in the box given below let's write so here are the examples i have written you too can write it in your notebook energy giving food rice and wheat body building food milk and eggs protective foods fruits and vegetables i have written two examples for each so this is the concept map what we have learnt in the lesson is the concept of the food groups energy giving food body building food and protective foods rice and wheat fall under the category of energy giving milk and egg fall under the category of body building and fruits and vegetables fall under the category of protective foods so today once again i have brought some key to healthy eating points for you i want to revise this today because i want you to remember these points these points are very important for you you have to follow all these points regularly which are they you should follow these rules eat different kinds of foods in the right quantities all the three food groups you have to include in your diet in the right amount eat well cooked food the food which you eat should be cooked properly do not eat the food that has been kept uncovered it might have germs that can make you sick wash your hands before and after eating very important point i also tell you in the beginning of the video every day wash your mouth after eating it is a good habit to wash your mouth after eating eat slowly and chew your food well do not eat your food hastily go slow while you are eating do not watch television keep your phones away while you are eating the food then eat and drink from clean plates and glasses the plates and the glasses that you use for eating and drinking you should see that they are neat and cleaned and washed properly eat fresh food eating stale food can make you sick stale food means the food items which you have not covered or which have been kept for many days do not eat stale food eat the meals at regular intervals and do not waste food so as i told you there should be a gap in between two meals so your food can be digested properly and see that you do not waste food so that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed the video and the worksheet that we have solved in today's video you have to solve it one time and write the answers in the rough book and one more important thing please maintain cleanliness as i told you because cleanliness is next to godliness and it is very important for your health and hygiene also take care of yourselves 
your family stay home stay safe and start preparing for the upcoming exams thank you for watching my video